Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Player of the Month talk today. We need to talk about the November Player of the Month. Now, this is for the November Player of the Month. Although EA has the date wrong here, they did not update their month from last time around. They did this voting, as you can tell. It still says October, but these are definitely November's nominees. We're getting November Premier League Player of the Month on Friday. It's coming, and I wanted to get this video out quickly for you guys as quick as possible um, to kind of talk through some things because I think there's definitely some ways that you can buy into this week, uh, this month's uh, Player of the Month SBC. I want to talk through contenders. Obviously, the voting is closed right now. This is a really, really tight race. I mean, of all the Player of the Months that we've had so far this year, I think this might be uh, the tightest race so far. Timu Puki in week one was a pretty tight race, um, but this one I think might be the tightest because there are three players involved here that I think have a very, very high opportunity of coming out of this uh, voting process and coming out on Friday with this SBC and with this award. So I want to look at the contenders right now via Footbin's website. These are the three guys that I want to look at. Vardy, Sun, and Mane. Now it's between the, uh, these three guys for a number of reasons. If you look at their, their team performance, you know, one thing that I think really matters is yes number of goals scored is very important they usually pick the guys with number with goals scored being the highest at least in the past that has mattered um, but also team performance has mattered we've seen people that have gotten in with identical goals uh, maybe like four goals in the same month between two guys one guy might have one assist more than the other one so we're like okay that guy probably will win right well, maybe his team in that month won four games and the other guy's team uh, who had the extra assist uh, lost one game. They won three, lost one. Sometimes they'll let that guy go. The, the guy that will win um, the award will be from the team that actually won all their games. So wins are very, very important here. And I'm gonna. that's kind of um, factoring into my, my prediction on who I think is going to win. But it's definitely between these three guys. The other one that I could possibly see getting in is Delhi. I could Delhi would be like the fourth, the fourth guy uh, between these three, and I would say he'd be kind of fourth, but I'm not really thinking it's him. I really think it's it's these between these three. Um, and to be honest, man, Vardy looks like he he very well could win it again. Four goals in four games with two assists. Leicester was undefeated in the month of November. Four wins, zero losses. So a really solid stat line for him. Uh, Son in four games, they had two wins, two draws. He had two goals and four assists, played amazingly. Um, Mane, four games, three goals, one assist, and Liverpool was undefeated. So looking at the stats, you think, okay, it's probably going to be Vardy, right? It's got to be Vardy. He had four goals and two assists. I do think Vardy has a very good chance to win this one, but I also think that Mane has uh, a very high chance to win as well. Uh, and this is going to be really interesting, man, because these cards, uh, all of these guys in the game so far, Vardy, obviously with the cheapest player of the month for value that I think we've ever had in FIFA, 30k for an 86 rated player of the month. It was insane. Uh, so everybody already has this Vardy card. Now that doesn't really factor into who wins this award. This award is performance based. I think there's like, it's either 10 or 20% fan vote. So the fan vote really does not matter that much. Um, and again, what we've come to learn is that a lot of the stuff is really reliant on the goals and the team performance and just the stats, right? That's really, really what matters with this. Now, I think my personal pick is Mane, but I do think it is very possible that Jamie Vardy could win as well. I think it's between these two, but I think it might be Mane because Liverpool is absolutely smashing it in the Prem. I mean, obviously, Leicester is right now as well, but uh, Mane has been very instrumental in their, their month this month of November for their success. So I do think Mane has a very, very high chance of winning player of the month. So going forward from that, how do we invest in this types of stuff? Well, we always look, we always look for, what is it? What are these ads that Footman gives me, man? Yo, I'm not looking up that type of stuff. All right. Just so you guys know, I need to get some sort of ad blocker because nobody wants to see that. Right. Anyways, um, <laughs> we're looking at some of the investments right now. A lot of the high rated are, uh, a lot of the high rates, high rated are up, right? So if we look at uh, cheapest players by rating, yeah, cheapest players by rating. A lot of the 83s and 84s look at like decent prices. The 85s aren't too bad, but a lot of this other stuff, actually, the 86s aren't that bad right now at the moment either. But a lot of this other stuff is just kind of up, right? Because of the messy player of the month SBC that's been coming out. I'm recording this video before that SBC comes out. I really don't want to touch any of these high rated guys, to be honest. Um, because yes, there could be some investments there, but with the messy player of the month SBC still looming at this time, 
I'd be very careful with that. But there are a couple things in here that I think are very, very investable. So we're looking at 84 rated cards right now, which are probably one of my, if I'm going to invest in one SBC card and SBC fodder, it's going to be either 84s or 86s because 86s are used in so many different squad ranges. Like from, from an 84 rated squad all the way up to like an 89 rated squad, you're probably going to have some 86s in there. Um, depending on what other special cards you can fit in your team and what other like an 89 rated guy you can get in that squad and make the rating go lower especially during later on in the year when you have like 90 rated plus team of the seasons that you can throw into you know 89 and 88 rated squads we're not really at that point yet um but i do love these 84s because a lot of them are under 4,000 coins and a lot of them have good links dude that are under 4,000 coins as well. Mesut Ozil doesn't really directly re link to a team, uh, but he's a Premier League center attacking mid, uh, 84 rated. You can tell he's been up to 6,000 coins before um, earlier on um, when SBCs came out about a week ago. And he's usually, when there's SBCs out, man, you, this is when the base icon SBC came out right here. He was back up to like five five to 6,000 coins was kind of his range. He can very easily get there. 2K a card, you're buying at 4,000, maybe get a little bit lower on bid. This guy's definitely near the lower amount of his rise at the moment. I'm a fan of that card. Uh, Kepa at 4K, I'm a fan of. And then one guy I'm a huge fan of is this guy right here, Jorginho Wijnaldum. Now I talked about how Mane, I think, has an outside shot of winning this player of the month. Uh, this guy at 4,000 coins, there would probably be a specific Liverpool um, player required in at least one of the SBCs, um, even if they make uh, Mane really cheap. Um, and we'll talk about his special cards and maybe what they could price the SBC here in a minute. But this would definitely be a card I would be in interested in investing in. Add around 4,000 coins on bid. Let me actually go check him on the market at the moment. Let me check Wijnaldum on the market and see what he is going for uh, in terms of actually on the game. 4,300 coins, uh, 4,100. You know what? I'm going to take that. Never mind. I'm going to club stock one of these Wijnaldums right now and uh, even see if we can get one on bid, maybe. Save us a couple thousand coins, yeah? Maybe? But Weekend League Rewards are coming up shortly after this video goes live. Oh, with a shadow? With a shadow, please? Oh my gosh, I got that with the shadow. I might have to end up flipping that because I don't know what Wijnaldum goes for with the shadow, but I'm going to throw that on the transfer list and see what happens. But that's the kind of stuff that I think you guys could club stock. Um, and also when you're doing this, a lot of the formations that they put out really don't require center attacking mids. I know I mentioned Ozil, but um, I learned this back a couple weeks ago. Unless the formation requires a center attacking mid, the center attacking mids don't go up as much. The true CMs are better investments for SBC fodder because there are a lot more SBCs that require CMs. And, you know, when they're requiring 70, 80 chemistry for some of these um, uh, squad, building, squad building challenges, getting those that one position change, like this would be, you know, he'd be on 8 chem if he was fully linked at, at, at CM, I think, and he would be on 10 chem, right? So I would say make sure when you're buying the Wijnaldums, try to get center mid, all right? Center mid is a lot better than center attacking mid when it comes to SBCs. But this guy around 4,000 coins on either console is fantastic. Maybe like 4-2 on Xbox. I don't think he really drops down to 4K flat. Or at least that's what Footbin says uh, for that one. So again, 84 rated Premier League cards I think I'm a fan of. Uh, we'll go back over here, look at some, maybe some of the Premier League 83s, cheapest players by rating, 83 rated cards. Do we have any Premier League guides in here that I could say look pretty good at the moment? Uh, some of the cheaper 83s from the Prem is probably going to be Pickford around 1.8k. Wow, uh, Jorginho at 1.9k, I'm a fan of that, if you can stock a couple of those. Basically boys, again, it's the normal Premier League investments. I found a really good one with Wijnaldum just because of his Liverpool um, team. Jordan Henderson could be a good one as well. Jordan Henderson around 2,000 coins or under, maybe get get him on bid, could be a very good one as well. You can see he goes almost up to 4K at some points, goes over 3,000 coins. So if you can get him at like 1,800, 1,900 coins, I would be a fan of that for sure uh, for a player of the month investment. And this would be kind of like a double investment, right? If Vardy wins, he's English. So uh, that would definitely be something that you could pick up on there as well for an 83. And then of course, if we go back to cheapest players by rating, some of these higher rateds aren't looking too bad right now. Um, and obviously, you could wait until the messy SBC comes out if you want to risk it. Um, but maybe during weekend league rewards, you look to see if you can snag a few of these high rated golds on bid, uh, especially from the Premier League. Maybe a Lacazette. Lacazette is 16K. That is ridiculous. Maybe some 85s from the Prem are cheap. How many cheap Prem 85s do we have? I don't see any. Rodri. Ooh, Rodri could be a good one. 
uh, for some higher higher rating SBCs. Um, you know, we don't have any city guys in the voting, so it's kind of hard to. A lot of the city guys are SBC fodder. De Gea, I mean, nah, it's probably too high rated, 89. I, w I wouldn't really imagine that. Um, but if we want to talk about the pricing for these SBCs, uh, currently Mane just got himself another inform this week. So if Mane actually wins Player of the Month, are they going to actually give him a plus two? Because he now has that 90 rated uh, left mid inform that he got today. Mane has so many special cards, boys. He's got the Road to the Final card right here. He's got the first inform striker that was from Team of the Week uh, 1. I believe, and now he's got this 90 rated left mid card, which is making the market very interesting right now as well, with everything that's going on in terms of special cards coming on the game. So regardless if Mane or if Sun win, I mean, they already have tons of special cards, which is going to be ridiculous, um, but I do think if Mane wins player of the month, I don't think they'll give him a plus two. They only gave Aubameyang a plus one, so I would imagine that um, Mane's player of the month would probably be a 91 rated card. And since this card right now, day one, is valued at just over 700,000 coins, um, the market's pretty low, but I would, you know, if they make this uh, player of the month Mane SBC, if they make it somewhere around like the 650 to, you know, maybe 750 or 800,000 coin range, I would think that that would be a pretty fair value for a Mane Player of the Month. If we go look, take a look at Jamie Vardy's card, obviously, the last time they put Vardy in the game, uh, he was very, very underpriced. An 86-rated card for 30K is ridiculous. Uh, so if they... Let me just search him up really here at, right now and look at his card for you guys really quick. Jamie Vardy, get in, the, get in the squad really quick. So I'll put him in the squad. So in, he's an 86. Now, if he wins Player of the Month, I do think they'll give him a plus two rating. I think they'll take him up to 88 rating. Uh, he'll be English, of, uh, of course, from Leicester. 88 rated striker, 94 pace, probably like upper 80 shooting, 87, 88 shooting. He'd have over 70 passing. He would eclipse the 80 physical rating, which would be be very interesting. Um, his stamina would probably go up two or three points. His strength would go a little bit higher. But if he gets like some plus twos or plus three, he doesn't really break above any big barriers. He actually might hit 90 composure. If he does get a decent dribbling upgrade, like a plus four, he could definitely break 90 composure. Uh, he would have over 80 agility, so that could make his card a little bit more usable. And he would have, um, you know, some of the dribbling stats would go above 80 as well. So maybe a player of the month of Artie would definitely feel a little bit different in game with that dribbling boost. Uh, his finishing would be above 90 as well. His acceleration would again be improved even higher than 90. And a lot of his shooting stats would go over 90 as well. So uh, that could be a pretty solid card again if they put that SBC out. Since they valued this one so cheap before, um, I would honestly laugh if they put out another cheap Vardy just be to kind of be like, ha, huh, suck it. You did the first one. Now that one's irrelevant and you wasted 30K on it. Not that it was really a waste of coins, but uh, that's what I could see for that one. We'll look at Sun as well. What could Sun's SBC cost be? Uh, Sun would be a very interesting one, man. If Sun actually wins, his special cards are all over the place uh, in terms of price. Uh, and I mentioned Mane as well. Mane's um, road to the final card is down some due to the Liverpool winning and him getting another inform that is actually higher rated than his road to the final, I think. So if you see Sun get a player of the month, I think it would be a 90 rated card. I really think they're going to give Sun a 90 rated player of the month card. Right now, he does not have any 90 rated cards. He's got the 87 base card, the 88 in form, the 88 road to the final, and the 89 team of the group stage card um, at the moment. So if they do give him player of the month, I think it would be a 90 rated Sun, and that would give people flashbacks. Yo, I got to look this up, man. I, I do have to look this up. That would give people flashbacks of the FIFA, was it FIFA 17 or FIFA 18? I think it was FIFA 18. The Yunmin Sun player of the month card. Let's go generations. I want to look at this. You guys are going to remember. FIFA, it was FIFA 17. This 89 rated player of the month son from FIFA 17. People loved this card. I love this card. It was an unbelievable card. Look at those stats. 93 pace, 94 shot, 90 passing. Now, obviously, if he got a plus one boost, I don't think his stats would be that good right now. He would probably get plus twos and plus threes. But to have a card of this caliber early, I mean, if you if you get a 90 rated player of the month son this week, boys, that is an end game card, right? Uh, it's probably going to be a left mid. Uh, he played a lot of left mid this month. Could possibly be a center forward card. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. Um, but 
If they do give him a 90 rated card, you're looking at 91 or 92 pace. You're looking at 80, or you're looking at 92 shot, maybe 88 passing, 91 dribbling, 73, 74 defense. That is going to put his card in the stupid, crazy good range. He's going to have over 90 agility. He's going to have over 90 composure. He's going to have over 90 finishing. He's going to have 90 acceleration probably, or at least maybe 89 acceleration. So this card with a player of the month plus one with some decent stat boost uh, would be phenomenal. But I do think they would require a decent amount of coins for it. This card is still chilling right around 2 million coins, the upgradable item. Uh, and I do think if you see a player of the month sun, it could drop this price a little bit. But I would say that Sun's SBC would probably be somewhere in the range of some, again, kind of like Mane, maybe 650 to uh, 800,000 coins, somewhere in that uh, area for cost. And you know the way that they're really going to get those costs is, is uh, putting informs in the SBC as well. And again, that's kind of a risky. Kind of an already inflated area of the market at this time because of uh, the messy player of the month SBC. So I'll be really interested to see what happens with the messy SBC and how that affects informs and how that affects other cards on the market. But if you want to invest in some informs for a possible SBC requirement, um, I see James Madison down here at 12,000 coins. I know he's an 82, but that honestly is not bad to me at all. Uh, Serge Aurier at 12,000 coins as well. If Sun wins, I'm a fan of that, okay? Uh, Madison and Aurier, maybe pick one up for the club if you're very interested in doing one of these Player of the Month SBCs. Um, any other ones? Schmeichel at 22K. Now, this is probably inflated a little bit, but it's a Premier League 82 rated inform. Wow, he was 16K uh, before the, I think this is probably before the Icon Pack. Yeah, this is definitely right before the Icon Pack came out on the 22nd. Yep. So this is uh this is before the base icon pack came out, but he's 22k, which he was a little bit higher before. So maybe if you can snag this guy on bid, lower closer down to 20,000 coins, that could be a possible investment. And then just look for some other Premier League or just do even non-Premier League um, some informs you could uh, stock in the club. I would say don't go any higher than like 85 or 86 because I do think that EA would probably require some more high-rated cards instead of high-rated. Um, high rated cards instead of high rated informs for an SBC like this. But again, player of the month this month, I mean, we can't forget about it. That's why I wanted to make this video for you guys today because uh, Hyunmin Sun, Sadio Mane, obviously uh, two of the big names that could be in this month's player of the month competition. Both of those guys already have a ton of special cards, but I do think it is very worth noting uh, just the fact that Whenever these guys get a player of the month, you have to pay attention because there's definitely some money to be made on the market with these cards. And there's definitely people that, that are going to be doing these SBCs. I mean, a 90 rated Mane card. Yes, you're thinking, okay, this Mane gets one upgrade and he's 90 rated, right? But if a Mane, if a Mane 90 rated card comes out, this card right here is going to get upgraded this week. It's going to go to a 90 rated, right? Probably on Friday. But what if they make the player of the month in 91? This Mane card won't reach a 91 until February. And if this card is 1.2, 1.3 million coins, and that uh, 91 or 90 rated Mane SBC card is around like 600 to 800, maybe even a mil, um, then, you know, you got to kind of think about it. It's like, yo, I could do the untradeable version of this card, use it for two months, maybe upgrade on something else, whatever. That's going to be really interesting to see how they price this SBC just because of the big guys that are in it. And again, if, if they do a Jamie Vardy SBC and make him an 88 rated card and make it like 100,000 coins, I think people would still go out and do that SBC and you would see a lot of those uh, upgraded Vardys um, in your guys's in your guys's weekend league competitions and the teams that you would come up against. So again, that's kind of the stuff. I mean, it's, it's the pl uh, Premier League Player of the Month investing and stuff like that. It's honestly a lot of the same stuff every time. Um, it's just more, you have to think about who's in it, who's going to win it, and is there going to be hype for this SBC? I do think there's going to be hype for this one because obviously right now it's overlooked, but this could be the type of SBC that comes out and then everybody's like, yo, I'm not prepared for it because I didn't buy 84s because I was all worried about the messy SBC and stuff like that. And if you buy some 84s, you could be very ahead of the game. You could, like that Wijnaldum card, maybe it's the Schmeichel Inform, and some of the other um, Premier League higher rated cards. You could be in some good money with those cards because uh, not a lot of people are talking about those at the moment, especially the 83s and the 84s in terms of uh, like a player of the month investment type thing. So if that's something you guys are interested in, I wanted to make this video today because I think this SBC is something that not a lot of people are talking about and it's going to be a big SBC probably coming out on Friday in the next couple 
of days. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.